this is the time for global prayer that is going to have global impact. I want you to get ready because we want to pray against all the global disasters, the global diseases, and the global destitutions all over the world. Now you are going to jump on your feet because God has given us authority to stop all those things that we need to stop, to put the enemies into oblivion, into silence. That is why we want to pray now. But before we pray, you jump on your feet. We want to first of all thank God because this is the fifth day of this program. God has been faithful on the first day and therefore we have to be grateful. We see the mighty hand of God on the second day. You are witnesses of the power of God on the third day. Yesterday was a mighty move of God. And today is going to be greater than all the other days. And that is why I want to say, God, we are very grateful. Because we are faithful. You say you will visit us and redeem your people. And you have visited us and you have redeemed many souls. We are very grateful. Thank you for the backings of the man of God. Thank you for the anointing of God upon his head. Thank you for the power of God upon his life. God, we are very, very grateful. We know that you are going to do greater things today. That is why we say we appreciate you. Brethren, open your mouth and begin to appreciate God. Because appreciation is application for more. If you can thank him for what he has done in the past four days, he's going to do greater things today. Today is going to be a greater day. Worship the name of God. Say, God, we are very grateful. In Jesus' name we pray. I want to hear your louder amen. In Jesus' name we pray. I want to hear intercontinental amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Now I want to pray according to 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 9. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 9 says, But they shall proceed no further. But they shall proceed no further. All this, the global disasters shall proceed no further. Global pandemic shall proceed no further. Global poverty shall proceed no further. We are standing on this word of God, which is the sword of the spirit, to pray and say, all this pandemic, you shall proceed no further. Tornado, you shall proceed no further. Disaster, you shall proceed no further. COVID-19, you shall proceed no further. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Thank God for that brother that is praying. Thank God for that sister that is getting it right. Thank God for that youth because we need to stop this thing. You are in that country for, this, for a time like this. You are in that country for a time like this. You are in, in that country for a, a time like this. You are in that continent for a time like this. That is why we have to open our mouth and begin to declare. You have the authority. Whatsoever you bind on her, they are bound in heaven. Whatsoever you lose today, they are going to be loose in heaven. We have the authority. We have the authority. The government are trying their best. The doctors are trying their best. But the, the, the pandemic is still ravaging. That is why we need to pray. It is the turn of the church now to make a decree. You will decree a thing. It shall be established unto you. You will decree a thing. It shall be established. We are making decree. That all these disasters, you have to stop. Famine, you have to stop. Evil, you have to stop. Calamity, you have to stop. Open your mouth and make that declaration. Thank God for those that are praying. You are in that continent to stop this mess. You are in that country to stop this calamity. You are in that country to stop all what is happening now. Open your mouth and pray. This is a global prayer. It's not a small prayer. It's not a gentle prayer. It's not a quiet time prayer. It's a time to call upon the name of the Lord. Pray, they shall proceed no further. Be very specific. Be very specific. In your country, COVID-19 will not proceed further. In your country, oh, disaster will not proceed further. Tornado will not proceed further. Where famine will not proceed further. Be very specific. Open your mouth wide, God will feel it. Open your mouth wide, 
God will feel it. It is whatever we say tonight that is going to come to pass. If, if, if COVID continues in your country, I know you didn't pray this prayer very well. If a pandemic continues, I know somebody did not pray tonight. Therefore, let everybody live whatever we are doing. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. To disasters, enough is enough. To diseases, enough is enough. To destitution, enough is enough. The poverty that is making people to say their birth right, enough is enough. You are in that continent for a time like this. Open your mouth, there is a fire in your mouth. There is authority in your mouth. There is a power in your mouth. Let's use the authority that God has given unto us. Let's use the authority, this global opportunity to stop this thing once and for all. Whatever you decree today is going to be established. You are telling God, whatever you don't want it to proceed further. That whatever you don't want it to proceed into the ne next year. Let's open our mouth and talk to the Lord. Next year, we don't want to celebrate COVID-19. Next year, we don't want to celebrate any disaster. Next year, we don't want any famine. Next year, we don't want any COVID. Next year, we don't want any tornado. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Thank God for those that are praying. Thank God for those that are specific. Remember, you have the authority. Remember, you have the power. You remember, you have the authority. Remember, you have the power. The power of God is in your mouth. Open your mouth wide, God will feel it. Open your mouth wide, God will feel it. Thank God, people are getting it right. Thank God for that brother is getting it right. Thank God for that sister is getting it right. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says men ought to pray not to faint. I don't want you to faint. This is the authority we have. To call upon the name of the Lord. David says I will call upon the name of the Lord. Then my enemy shall turn back. If you don't call upon the name of God, this thing will not turn back. And thank God that you are calling upon the name of the Lord. Now we want to pray for peace. Peace and progress, they go together. According to 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, we want to use verse 16 to pray. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 16. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace always. I want you to say amen. amen. Now, this is now. This is the time. It's now. Now the Lord of peace himself. We give you peace always and by all means. And that's our prayer. Anything God can do to bring peace to the world. Because for the sake of it, for the sake of the elect, let there be peace. Let there be tranquility. Let there be peace in your continents. Let there be global peace in your country. Let there be global peace in your country. Let there be global peace. The peace of God. Now, this is now. If you can pray, declare it. Now it is now. Not tomorrow. Now, the Lord of peace himself will give you peace always and by all means. The Lord of peace himself will give you peace and by all ways. The Lord of peace himself will give you peace and by all ways. Or the Lord of peace himself will give you peace always and by all means. In Jesus, then we pray. Now, finally, we want to pray for today. We want to pray for our man of God, the apostles of our time, Moses of our time. There, there will be a double portion. There will be a double power. There will be a double anointing of God upon his life. So that today, calamity will stop. Today, deformity will stop. Today, infirmity will stop. Open your mouth and pray that God, you will use our man of God the way you have never used him before. We know what you did in Akwaibo. You will do greater things. We know what you did in uh, Abuja. You will do greater things. We know what you did in Calabar. You will do a greater thing. We know what you do in Port Harcourt. Today will be a greater day. Today will be a greater power. Today will be a greater influence. More God, move as you have never moved before. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we appreciate you. We see what you are doing already. The Bible says you are able to do more than what we have requested. Father, do more than our expectation in the name of Jesus. We pray for our man of God, double portion upon his life. So that today, calamity will come to an end. Today, deformity will be buried. Today, infirmity will end in every life in the name of Jesus. Touch every continent. Touch every country. Touch every country to the glory of your name. Thank you for the answers to our prayers. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Amen.